Alright, so recently I've been asked a question, how do I add trains back into my 5M world? And today I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this. Um, so if you didn't know, 5M actually removes the trains and stuff that go around the world, uh, because it's not GTA Online or single player, it doesn't actually add it, but this resource here does add it back. Though, um, the, be aware, there may be some bugs with this resource, because it's streaming a new thing to the server and things may uh, go wrong, but overall it seems like... Um, they, a lot of people use it and it seems like it works for most people. So if it doesn't work, just remove it. But if it does work, then go ahead and use it to your liking. Um, I use it personally on my personal server and it works perfectly fine. So I don't know if it's something else with other people's servers or the artifact build of the servers. But it works fine for me. So I'm going to do a video on it anyway. So in order to go ahead and download this and get it started, you're going to go to the link down in the description and you're going to click it. And I'll show you exactly where you go to download it. So uh, you can see it goes over the introduction on how all of the things, you have like the doors and everything all of the trains and all of the stuff that goes around um, so what you want to do is you want to go to where to download it it will say my github page click this and it will go ahead and take you to this uh, github click code and then click download zip it will go down and download the zip file you'll open this up with winzip 7zip winrar whatever you use there's like a billion of them that open these you'll get this file and inside here you'll see two folders you'll see the first folder with the readme the second folder with all the things so here's what we're going to do you're going to go ahead and minimize that and you're going to open up your server data folder this is a server side resource so you must own a server to do this if you don't know how to create a server we have two videos on the channel on that you can go check that out anyway you go into the resources folder and what we're going to do is you don't want to drag this first folder in. So you have your first folder, drag the second folder here in, which is the uh, second folder without the readme file. So inside here, there's no, well, there is a readme in here, but there's also the stream and resource. So you want the second folder. Make sure it's the second folder, it won't work at all. Then what you're going to do is you're going to right click this folder and click rename and just copy that whole name. Rather than remembering it and having to retype it, we're just going to copy the whole name. Go back to the server.data folder, go into your server.cfg file and edit it with notepad plus plus or notepad. And then just add another line to your area here. It's either going to say ensure or start and just add that uh, thing we just copied in here. Save the file and start up your 5M server. To make sure it has started up correctly while we load 5M, we're just going to take a look at console here. And when it loads up, you'll see over here it will say started resource, the resource name. So to make sure it's loaded up properly, we're just going to take a look and see that it loaded up properly once EUP loads. EUP takes the longest if you have it on your server um, because it checks the licenses and everything. So if you want to learn how to install EUP you can go to the link in the description we have a video on it down there um, anyway so we're just gonna wait for this to start up it may take a moment there you go so you can see it is now loading the rest of the things and at the end here you'll see loaded started resource the trains so we are good to go it may not be read by the way I get keep getting questions about this it's because of this resource having an update it uh, sends it changes the text all to red yours will not be read so just ignore it anyway uh, let's just go ahead and start 5m and I'll hop in and I'll see you momentarily now, while we are loading in real quick at the end here, I just wanted to note that I know there hasn't been a lot of 5M and 5PD videos recently. I will get toward those. I've been really, really busy with a bunch of real-life projects, and I haven't had time to make them, but more are coming soon, I do promise. Um, so let's get straight into it. We have now loaded in. Now, there is a way to kind of test this, but we got to go over to the city, so I'm just going to no-clip over to the city. Maybe we'll see a train on the way there. Um, but anyway, the best way to test this is to pretty much just go to the train tracks and wait for a train to come. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and uh, let the world not kill itself while it loads in here. Um, and we're going to go over to the area with the trams. And I believe we're around the... This is the tram line, yes. Okay, so um, pretty much what we have to do is we just have to wait around until we see a tram and uh, go from there. But, um, you know, they'll be on these lines just like normal. Um, you can see them going around the town. You can get on them. Uh, you know, because it creates that more interactive feel and look um, to your game. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to see one here, considering it may take a little while for them to appear, because they're going to be going around the whole track. Um, but if you run into any issues or anything, just let the author know on the page, and I guarantee they would be able to fix it for you, or at least look into the issue, um, as long as you provide enough info about it. Um, but overall, it just makes it a really, really cool feature that you have all these trams and trains going around. Even if I can't find one in the video, they are around somewhere, so just keep that in mind. Um, and, you know, I don't know exactly where the tram line went. Okay, so that was the end of the tram. 
Okay, I'm confused. I don't exactly know where the tram lines go. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's how it kind of works. If you have questions or issues, just let the author know. They would probably be happy to help you with it. Um, and obviously just have fun with it. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching today's video. And make sure to check out the resource if you haven't already. So see you next time in the next video tomorrow. Bye. Bye.